In this video, we're gonna be comparing Jet to Bubble. You're gonna be learning three things. Number one, the key features. Number two, the pricing. And number three, which one I would choose. What is Jet Admin or what is Jet? This is a platform where you can build custom business apps within minutes. And specifically, it's geared towards building internal tools, partner and custom apps without code. What is Bubble? Bubble is a platform where you can create just about any type of web app that you can think of. Let's look at the key features. When we look at Jet, I'm going to go to solutions. And as we can see, I'm going to be either focusing on internal tools or custom portals. Depending on what I'm looking to do, I can then look at the different features or what I can be creating depending on what kind of solution I'm trying to go for. If I'm trying to build an admin panel, I can easily create, update, and delete immediately. I can also collaborate with friends or team members, and I can have built-in permissions. Now that's just the start of it. If I'm gonna be looking at different templates, I then can take a look at what the admins can do, what it can, what can happen. And the thing with the admin panels and all the different things you can do with Jet, when you use the templates, you're going to just be dragging and dropping different components on the page to be able to create this. Or what I would say different things that you can be using. Now let's take a look at one of the live demos here. As you can see for a moment, I have a dashboard and I can choose depending on what kind of product I'm going to be searching for. I can look at the product type, the vendor, hashtags, all of those different things. And again, I can move through this very quickly. All of these different things that I can be adding to my admin, I can just be dragging and dropping into the page. Now, of course, I'm going to need to have a database. I'm going to have a database that I'm actually building from Jet or I'm going to be bringing my database over to be able to structure this kind of admin but this is the power of what you can be doing with jet now that goes into the internal tools and the admin panels we just looked at let's look at the customer portals now a customer portal that would also help with varied different types of businesses but this one shows a restaurant portal a portal created by multi-vendor marketplace for partners to manage their operations Okay, so they can have their order management, adjusting the menu, and, and tracking key metrics. And here's an example of what it would, could look like. In the comment section down below, what are you trying to build? Are you trying to build an internal tool or are you trying to build a different type of app? Let us know the details down below. Another feature that we like about Jet would be the different types of way that you can bring in the data. So if you're going to be using APIs or other things, there are tons of different integrations that you can go through. Let's switch over to the key features for Bubble. Because there are so many different things you could be doing with Bubble, I would first write down or put us in the, put in the comment section, what do you plan on doing with Bubble? With Jet, there are clear solutions of what you're trying to build. But with Bubble, it's almost wide open of all different types of apps, businesses, micro SaaS, all these things that you can be building with Bubble. When trying to find out the features of is it right for you, it's important to write down what are your goals because you can go in so many different directions. We have seen in the past when people use Bubble, sometimes they become overwhelmed or they're trying to go all over the place and they just end up going down a rabbit hole and not understanding the capabilities that Bubble could do. So I would first write down what are you trying to do with your idea? What kind of features do you need? Then you can approach Bubble and see what you can create. Because once you start using Bubble, really they're giving you a blank canvas to create whatever you want. But you can also use plugins and other things to be able to make your app have superpowers, but it really depends on what you're trying to create. Another thing to note is it's scalable. You can really scale a full business using Bubble. You won't need to switch platforms and all of those different things. It can scale with the type of business that you're looking to do. Let's take a look at pricing. To get started with Jet, it's free. Now, what do you get with this? Well, let's take a look real quick. Well, you get the free, uh, the 14 day free trial right there. All the basic features you get with up to one user, it's free. And as we look at what you can have, you can have the building blocks, connecting your database, 
Query Builder, Business Applications, the formulas, and that allows you to get started for the free plan. Now, if you go over to the $24 plan per month, $24 monthly per user, it starts out with that. It focuses on advanced functionality for rapidly growing teams. That makes sense. So you get everything found in the app builder. You get a few other things with the premium features, team-based permissions, environments, activity log, tasks, and comments. It makes sense. A lot of these features are going to be built for teams. You can move a lot quicker. You can be able to check in with each other all in a central location while you're building your internal app. So I like those different things that it's adding. When we move over to Pro, that's $48 per month per user. It comes with advanced functionality with rapid growing teams. So what is the main difference? Okay, so we have, okay, so here you get the custom domain and branding. When you go there, automation and workflows, custom components, HTML, CSS, and um, also JavaScript. Those are the different features you have when you're going Pro. Again, that's $48 monthly. If I was looking at this, I would first look at, do I have customers? Am I doing this as a test? How big is my team? All of those different things. Because you can start for free, I would definitely be looking at proving my concept or my MVP, my minimal viable product, before I would be going to Starter or Pro. Because I want to make sure that I have the right product market fit or I'm in the right direction before I'm paying. That's just me. That's where I'd be going and it's pretty gracious for free. I can still use the building blocks and the components, so I can still rapidly build uh, before starting to pay. Let's take a look at the pricing for Bubble. You can start for free. The personal plan is $25, then it goes to $115 for professional, and the production is $475 per month. For the free plan, you can get the core platform features, Bubble branding, and community support. So you can... Again, try it out, see what you think about it, and then be able to scale or change some things to the personal plan when you're ready. The personal plan, it goes from core platform. Okay, so you have access to APIs. That's going to be definitely important. Custom domain, email support, and much more. Let's take a look at compare plans. We're going to dive in a little bit deeper. So personal plan, that's when we can go to white labeling. Scheduled workflows runs monthly. The APIs you get starting at the personal plan. You can have password protection, editor, and run mode. Okay, so that's important. Application editors, one, import, export, CSVs. So depending if I'm going to be doing a lot with uh, different APIs or I'm going to be bringing in data, that's when I would be looking at more of the, the personal or professional plan. Again, I would first break down what are you trying to accomplish with your idea. Where are you? Are you just at the testing stage where you're still trying to see if you're gaining traction, if this is a good fit, or are people already saying like, shut up, take my money, and you're looking to scale, or you, you're going to need to talk to two different uh, systems, so you're going to be using something like an API or doing something like that. Again, I hate to be so generic when I'm going through these reviews, but because there are so many different types of apps or projects or businesses that people are trying to create with no code, it really depends on the functionality of what you're trying to do. And then it's going to depend on what you're going to need and what kind of price point you're going to come in at. After looking at both platforms, which one would I choose? And the winner is, it depends. Okay, you know, I don't do this every video, but this really depends. Why? Let's just, let's back up and let's talk about this. The use cases. If you're going to try to build a um, a internal tool or a customer portal and you already want blocks built for you, guess what? Jet is built for that. That's their main focus. But if you're trying to create a web app and there's so many different types of web apps out there and you want the flexibility, okay, then you're going to be looking at something like Bubble. So first of all, what are you trying to build? Where are you in your business? Let us know in the comment section or write it down or tell someone because that's what's going to really help you decide which platform is right for you. That's part number one. The next thing is pricing. Depending on the pricing and where you're going to be going, let's let's just go right here. The pricing, they both start at free. So it depends on how you're going to be scaling and what you're going to be needing later on. Again, with Bubble and what they can be doing and their community, 
the number of plugins and what they're going to be doing, the community is always doing something with that, right? So there are tons of different plugins. On the flip side, if we're looking at Jet, they have a lot of the components or things that you're going to be using anyway. So they're going to have the features already built in with the platform. Depends on what you're trying to create. In the comment section down below, let me know what you're building and which one would you decide? And if you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. I do this every single week. I'll see you in the next video.